Good day, everyone. John Little here. We are going to address the situation of printing the traceables. It's come up that a lot of people are having trouble figuring out how to print them at the proper size. This is very dependent upon a lot of different things. And one of them is the operating system you're using, Windows versus Mac versus phone, etc. cetera. Um, what printer you're going to, the print driver you have, I, the best I can do is I have a Canon printer and an HP printer connected. We'll take a look at those two and see how they interface, and then you have to look at your situation and see how it works. Um, I've, I've got a couple, I've got three images up here. I have two 8x10s and a 6x8. Um, you go to the lesson. You go to the resources if there is one. Some of the older lessons do not have this tab. We'll address that on the other one up there. You click on it and go, yeah, that's what I want to print. And then you could just say print. You have a little print guy. In my one, you have print. If you don't have that, if you do a control P or command P on a Mac, you'll come up with a print dialog. And it goes, where do you want to print it? I go, well, I want to print it to my HP printer. Okay. And if you just tell it to print just like this, you're not sure what size you're going to get. Most printers will default to full size 8.5 by 11, and it will crop the image to make it do that. You need to go under preferences or settings, something to tell it you want to take control. You have different settings here. You don't need anything there. Print quality, what size paper you're using, that's good. Borderless. Uh, in this particular one, it can be off, doesn't matter. Uh, normal quality, grayscale, that's good. Layout. This needs to be landscape. It's a landscape. So, you, again, you have to look at these things. Then advance. And so far, I'm not seeing a way on this particular printer to get control of the size of that output. And like I said, not all printers let you do that. And sometimes you've got to actually sit here and study this thing and figure out where they may have hit it. And I don't see it in here. I don't see a way to control the printout. So if I say OK there, I see nothing else here that lets me change it. So if I say print, it's going to print it. All right, we'll see what we get. Now, let's do it again, and let's see if I have a Canon printer we can go to and see what preferences we have with this driver. Okay, it tells me what it's doing, tells me print quality, all that looks good. Duplex, borderless, main. Again, that's all standard. Page setup. Print options. Nothing there. Specify margins. Borderless normal size. Okay, scale it. See, this I can scale it. See, I don't know what I'm going to get right off the bat. This is a PDF and it should print 8 by 10. So just hang on one second. to go get the printout that we got from the HP, and indeed, it filled the entire 8.5 by 11. So that would not work. You've got to be able to control the output size. Now, the Canon happens to be right next to me, so I can print that one. I'll do it at 100% and just see what I get. We'll say OK, and we'll print that out. Without a way to control what the output is, what size you're going to get, you're going to be you're going to be in a hard spot. You've got to be able to control it. 
Um, and I don't know why the HP doesn't have a way to do that. Well, it looks like I'm about to run out of ink. See, look at that. Run out of ink. Should have enough to get the job done. So while that's doing that, let's go back to the HP one more time. Let's see. Yep, there it is. And you go, we have preferences, find a printer. So it's got to be under preferences. Factory defaults, everyday printing, duplex. So if you create something, you can save it. So we have paper, paper size, nothing to say about the size paper size. Well, that's the paper size. That's the printer paper. That's kind of paper. That's the quality. And that's the printing in grayscale. Nothing there. Layout. Typically, it would be in the layout. Both size. Nothing. I don't... And then advanced would be another good choice. Black, print all pages, odd pages, even pages. Preserve the layout. I don't know what that would do. And about. Nothing there. Now, this, this is very interesting. It's very disheartening, but I, I found that HP, a lot of times, you cannot get control over them. And I don't know why. All right, so we got the Canon one. It's not as tight as the HP was, but it is too big. It gave me, it gave me eight inches high by 10, 10 and 5 eighths. So is that not an 8 by 10 image I gave you guys? Mm, that'd be interesting. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's go back to here. If we go back here, and if I say, See, that's getting the image. I'll just save that image out to somewhere. Desktop. We'll put it in with Glenn. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go open that up. And I'm just using the default Windows. I'm on Windows 10 on this machine. Let me bring it up here. So that's what it is. It's just the default image. It's, okay, we don't need to be that big. All right. Now let's see if we have any other controls from this. Print. See, totally different interface. See, depending upon the program you're going with. See, here we go. Print size, full size, no. You want to print it as an 8x10. So that should print it as an 8x10 on that printer. And it shows you that way versus if we said full size, I guess that's not really changing that, is it? Full page. So if you said 8x10, because this is an 8x10, it should do it. Oh, here, fit to page. Shrink to fit. Fill the page. More settings. So this is like the other dialogue we had. It does not have a way to change the size on it here like the Canon does. So your best shot is you're doing eight and a half by 11 paper. You say you're doing a photo size of that on plain paper. This is the only thing that's kind of disturbing. What is that actually doing? Go ahead and kick that over there. I'm not hearing it print yet. Uh, 
I said print. Let's bring it over to the cannon because it's right here. Landscape one, auto feed, eight and a half, eight by ten, normal. We hit this one. And again, you don't have. See, this, I guess, is where you go into a printer program. I mean, a, a photo program and see what that does. All right, that one's probably going to go. Yeah, that one's going to the can. I don't know why the HP didn't work, though. Let's go back to the HP again. Landscape, auto select, eight and a half, eight by ten, and print. Not going to that for some reason. All right, looking at this one. Now, this one looks right. So you can see the importance of having uh, the combination of the right printer or the right program. There's a lot of writes that need to be done. Let me take a quick measure on this one. And it's nine and a half by seven and a half, but it's closer. But this is what you have to do. Now you have to figure out why did it do that. See so now, okay. Let's before you even go any much further. Let's go to Photo P. This is a program you can get online free of charge. It's like a Photoshop. Uh, open from computer. And we'll go over to desktop, Glenn, and duckies. Now, if I say print from here, what kind of support do we have? Do we have any kind of even print from here? No. They don't give me a way to print from here. So if I did a control P here, what do I get? Options, allow it. So it, no, it didn't understand control P. So you can't print from within, within this program. Mm, export add, nope. Nope, so there's no way to print it from here. I never tried to print from here before anyway, but okay, so that won't work for you. So if we bring up a program, we'll bring up the old reliable Photoshop. Which is, you know, this is not the most user friendly for the, for the masses as it were, but it gives you control over what you're gonna be printing. Let me put this in your window, we got it there. And we'll bring up the duckies. Now, when I tell it to print out of this program, you can see, see, this is the default. See how the, the edges around here, so I can move it around. So I can get specifically what I want. But now if I go down further, Scale it to fit. Now it'll fit. And this is telling me how big it is right here. So it's an 80%. So I, I can look at this and say, look, I want this thing to be eight inches high. Eight by 10, that's what it's gonna give me. And I know my printer goes slightly bigger than that. So if I go 79.8%, I think it would be an eight by 10. It usually goes slightly bigger. But if say I wanted to print this on a six by eight canvas, it's not proportional, but it could go on to a six by six. So to see a program like this, I have full control over its output. So what do you guys do? I'm gonna try this at 79 point nine, seven, nine, nine, I think that's right. It's either nine or eight, not that print. Um, So 
So where are we? We want to go back to... That was the other one. And there are duckies. Yeah, there are. Well, I didn't go to the right spot either. See how simple it is to do a search? One little word. All right, so typically you guys get this. It's a PDF and it should print proper size. But if you don't have control over your printer to tell it exactly what to do, you are stuck. Honestly, you are stuck. I, I would have to, I'm going to have to give this a lot more thought as to how you can get control over this. If you don't have a way, like you did in the Canon, to tell it what size to do, um, let's go back. Because even the Canon came out too big, so let's look at those two choices. And painter, picture, page setup. So you had scale. And so we knew the first, first time to see here, you can at least scale it. And you knew you were too big. So you just have to hit and miss it for a while until you figure out exactly what it is. Um, if you look at this one, we wanted a 10 inch. This is 10 and a half. Now the one we just did before from the other one, they were trying to get an eight by 10. And by the golly, we got an eight by 10 on the schnoz. Yep, right on it. So at a Photoshop, I mean, it's really easy. You can see the numbers you're working with. Here, you, you don't have the inches. You don't know what you're working with. You have to sit here and troubleshoot it until you figure it out. No, that's not fun. It's not the ideal way to do it. Print options. Well, no, nothing was in there. So I don't, I don't have, a, I don't have a solution for you. And a lot of you people don't even have printers, so you have to go to a print shop or go to a friend's house and say, "Print this for me" or whatever. So you're sitting there trying to figure out how to do it. Without the capability of scaling it, you are really in trouble. If we look at, we don't have any other choices with this. I mean, you could save it down to your computer. See, the PDF you saved to your computer, let's try this for a second. Because you can get this to open up in an Adobe program, which may give you the control you need. This is Adobe Reader. It's free. And if I say I want to print this, well, this is at least showing me what it's going to do. See what's clear and what's foggy? So this is all it's going to print. Because it thinks it's an 18 and a half by 15 inch printer. So what you have to do is you go first go to print, go to fit it, go to landscape, Okay, now it's still going to be too big. Actual size is, so you're going to want to scale it. Again, without giving you the inches, if I say 50%, if I say, I don't know why it's blocking that off. Oh, because the document size is that. Properties. Standard. I don't know why it's doing that. Why the document size is showing that. Current view. Okay, that's... So now it's showing... Okay, so we have to change the current view. 75% is only that. So if I go back up to 100%, oh, that's 8.5 and, and 11 by down there? No. I 
So at 50 percent, well, if it thinks it's 15 inches, and that's supposed to be the 8 inches, 8 divided by 15 is 53.3 percent. So if I told this it's 53.3, that looks too big. I'm curious enough, though, to do it. OK, so this is a lot of work to go. I mean, all you want to do is print the ding dang thing. I don't have an answer for you guys. Not yet. There's just too many variables, too many different things. Now, I know if I brought it to my phone, there's a program in there that we've done. I did a video on that already. All right, so we did 53% and have it come out. Eight by 10, right under the money. So what I did in that particular case was I took the size that it thinks it is. It thinks it was, what was it, 15 inch or something? It thinks it's an 18 and a half by 15. So I just divided the eight inch that I needed by the 15 and it gave me 53, you know, 0.533. And I just made it 53%. Okay, you're going to know how to do that every time? No. You should be able to print these things. But you can't say it just to fit it, because that's not going to be the right size. And it doesn't show you what it scaled it to. Actual size is too big. Shrink size. I don't know what the shrink oversize page is versus fit. Then you got scale. The rectangle is what it's printing the clear area. And that's when I had to tell it, you know, 50%. And that's what it's going to print. Use paper source by PDF. Oh, all right, let's do this then. Actual size. So it thinks it's a 22 by 17. No. Does Canon give us any other options? It's going to do the same thing. But you'd have a better shot of getting it. On a PDF, you can get it, but you know, we're, we're not giving PDFs a lot anymore because a lot of these people didn't like them. So now we're giving you the images, and that, you have the same situation. Unless you bring it into some type of photo program where you have control over it, you're at a loss. I'm going to have to give some thought. I'm going to put this video up here. You guys can put comments be below telling me what kind of printers you have, what kind of computer you have, phone you have, what you're trying to do, so I can try to figure out a better way to give you guys what you need so it's not this hard to do. Thanks. Talk to you later.